Roger, base. We are staying with him. Over. Copy, 6-1. Do not engage. We have reinforcements in route. Over. Hold on, base. We have... He's changing course. the job U.S. President started.
now it is mission accomplished. I have been here for six weeks waiting for you to get the red tag off my head. You do understand I was working for the U.S. government, no? Yes, I know that. Of course. No, no, no. Uh, don't, don't talk to me about Uranium-235. I was contracted to deliver Nitrovox. How was I supposed to know it was Uranium, eh? You're missing the point, Robert. No, when I said I want... No, listen to me, Robert. When I said I wanted to go to a safe place where no one could find me, I meant an island in the South Pacific with beautiful Tahitian girls and coconuts, not an Arctic base with Eskimos and freaking penguins! I am calm, Robert. I am very calm. What do you prefer? Excuse you, Robert. Hey! Jeffy! Do you mind? I am on the phone. No, 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 Mia. Robert, you are saying. Hello? Robert! Now do you see what you did? Eh? Cazzo è quattro formaggi. Waiting for someone. Waiting for someone. Yes, I am waiting for a polar bear that I met yesterday when I was out for my evening walk. You know, I invited him over for dinner. What the hell is wrong with you? Go see who it is. Well, well, well. Look at what the polar bear dragged in. I guess this happens every day out here in the Arctic. A beautiful girl just stumbles up to your base, and you do not find it's just a little bit suspicious. No? We did search her. She's clean. Ali, go check the perimeter. You relax. Welcome. 
You want to explain what you are doing here? I'm with the Greenpeace mission over near Anchor Bay. Oh, I got lost in the storm. Greenpeace, eh? And, uh... Just what the hell is a Greenpeace doing on Buffin Island? We're studying whale migration. Do you mind me asking what you're doing here? No, not at all. My esteemed fellow scientists and I, we are conducting global warming research. Fascinating. It is. Hmm. You use a lot of uranium in your research? with the woman who knows her way around the kitchen. Don't kill me. I wasn't planning on it, sweetheart. Get dressed. Put these on. You're going for a ride. Epicenter's the middle of town. Whatever hit this vehicle is probably just a remnant. It's Cordite, Captain. Cordite. Dynamite. It's a lot more powerful. I went into a lot of trouble to make sure these perpetrators didn't get away alive. I want to know why. Go in the wreckage. Whatever you find, you report back to me. Understood? Yes, sir. Thank you, Captain. Yes, Mr. Gordon. Sir, we have 253 people dead here. If we call this a terrorist act, before we know who's behind it, we'll have a witch hunt. Half of Congress will be screaming for war. And that could be exactly what whoever did this is looking for. Sir, with all due respect, when you asked me to head the GIU, I told you I would need some latitude on the way we operated. I'm asking for that now. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. You want to have a real conversation about my father? I'm all ears. Otherwise, let's just keep this business. Detonation took place at 21.30 hours during an outdoor festival. Estimated casualties, 253. Just don't know what killed them. Gas explosion. That's what the press is saying. Yeah, well, you know the drill. Terrorists. So why the cover story? We need time to figure out who did this. The technology is way too advanced for Al-Qaeda 
or any of the other usual suspects. How so? No detectable radiation. No toxic chemical agents. Just a take no prisoners punch from a massive EMP yield. Electoral magnetic pulse weapon. So we're dealing with some very technically proficient terrorists. Those are the files. For how long do you think the press is going to buy a gas explosion? Eventually, you're going to have to come clean, Unger. 30 miles in every direction. The power grid and every electrical circuit was knocked out. Now, if that had happened in a major metropolitan city, we would have total destruction, mass chaos. And if the American people believe this to be an act of terrorism, before we know who the real terrorists are, we'll be invading Iran in a month. Now, our intel points to the fact that this weapon was manufactured in a facility just outside of Kiev in the Ukraine. So why don't you run joint operations with the Ukrainians and take it? It's not that simple. Our intel comes from the Russians. This used to be a top secret Soviet facility. When the changes happened, the owners changed. And who is actually running it now remains a mystery. Even the Ukrainians don't actually admit this place exists. So you aren't even sure who's behind this? If it was that easy, you wouldn't be here. Now, we believe whoever did this is trying to make it look like Al-Qaeda, or Iran, or even the North Koreans. Seems like a lot of work to frame somebody else. This is your assignment. You're to find the lab, destroy it, and bring back information about its operations. That'll be your contact, Ekaterina Demidrova. Her father was Russian. Her mother is Chinese. She's good. And don't worry about her standing out. She has a very strong cover. We don't have time for this. The Russians have no love for the Ukrainians. If they're attacked by a weapon from their country, it could mean all out war. So this new uh, agency you're heading, you get your whole bunch of do-gooders, getting rid of all the bad apples? Why don't you just go make your father proud? If you want to talk to me about my father, you would have given me what I asked for a long time ago. It's not so simple. So without me seeing any evidence, I have to live with people saying my father was a traitor to my country. I'm sorry, Leela. Times have changed. There are even more gray areas back then than there are now. Times may have changed, but I bet you haven't. My job is to find rogue operations in our government to make sure they're stopped. Your job is on that chopper over there. The jet will take you to Romania. The Russians will take you to the Ukraine from there. Good luck. I'm sure I'll need it if I'm working for you. to go on meeting. Who with? Colonel Petrov. Be careful. Sure. No, babe, listen. If anything doesn't seem right, get out, okay? Because he's very dangerous. Kitty, I'll be careful, all right? You'll be careful, too. Oh, wait. Your watch. Thank you. Bye.
Where's the drop point? South of Kiev. Don't worry. We'll get in and out without anyone knowing. Go sit. Relax. Enjoy the ride. Жав, сто так много природно гага за транспортирайте через мяло Русия. То позволите за инжадном хохом крастак нове на него. Ненавижу эти халчные хохля, но нет другого пути для транспортировки нашего газа в Русию. Вам нравится это слово? Какое слово? Хохо. Да, хохо. Я сам этим словом часто пользуюсь. Звучит это очень смешно. When you use the derogatory word for Ukrainian while you're speaking in your own Ukrainian accent. Hunger. You better tell me what the hell is going on. What's wrong? The Russians, who were supposed to give me a ride? Just happened to be Ukrainians, and they're planning on dropping me in the middle of the Black Sea. Are you all right? Who else knows about this mission, Hunger? Just your contact. Yeah, well, I'm pretty sure someone else knows about it. Either that or your collaborator is trying to have me killed before I can find this place. Just as long as you're all right so you can continue the mission. Yeah, I'm glad you're so concerned with my welfare, Hunger. Hello? Unger. You gotta get to Kiev and meet up with your contact. Do you understand? Yeah. Good way to get shot coming up at me like that. Nervous? Yeah. I understand you had some problems getting here. A few. I've been here for six months trying to infiltrate this facility. Trust me, this is gonna be no cakewalk for us. As far as I'm concerned, there is no us until we get a few things straight. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure no one follows you next time. Huh? I'll try to remember that. I spent the first three months of my assignment trying to find this place. And the last three months trying to figure out how to get in. What's the security like? It's heavy. 
They managed to keep this place secret for about 20 years. Now, once we get in, it's gonna get tough. I don't have exact schematics, but this is a rough way out. I do know that there are multiple high security uh, checkpoints between us and where we need to be. Which is where? The central control room. Our best bet to get technological and strategical data is to infiltrate this. So how do we get into this meat grinder? This guy, head of security. And this is the club that he frequents. It's our best shot. I have been undercover as an exotic. Stripper. As an exotic dancer. Exotic dancer. Yes. And he keeps a magnetic code card of the facility on him at all times. So between the two of us, we need to distract him long enough so that we can copy the card without him knowing. Why don't we just steal the card? Well, because if he realizes it's missing, he could shut down the entire base. We'd never get in. So we copy the card. How do we do that? Uh, not so fast. I need to know if you can pull this off. This is not my first mission, Dimitrova. Have you ever stripped at a club before? Are you kidding me? No. But really, how complicated can it be? Oh, it's an art. You have the look, but can you move? I can move, okay. Okay, well then, show me. What do you mean now? Look, we have one chance to get into this club, and you are not messing this up for me. I want to see if you can play the part. Come on. Okay, dance for me. <laughs> Come on, you're not serious. I am dead serious. Our lives could depend on this, okay? Now go. Dance for me. Okay. Go. Okay, this is the worst dancing I've ever seen. Can you just give me a break? No. I, this is a high-end gentleman's club, okay? They have specialty acts from all over the world. I was thinking that we could be like the, the Chinese and American, you know, lesbian. Team. Uh, no, let's not go there. Okay, then, then what do you want to be? You're gonna be the American what? American bitch? I called that before. People okay. would believe it. Okay. Wouldn't have to act too no. What are you doing? No, no. Right, sure.
see what I was doing wrong. Colonel, the hangar has been sealed. We have all green on power up. Open the blast doors. We have hundred percent on the control link. Dig in the test. Retract the towers. Colonel, I would rather... I said, retract the towers. Reduce power. I said reduce power. By then, there's no response. Full power shut down now. spent and over 10 years and the control system still doesn't work it was destroyed in the crash we have been trying to rebuild it but their technology is thousand years ahead of ours the ship is worthless unless we can demonstrate that we can actually fly it so far we can't even control it sir the americans area 51 operation spent nearly 50 years on just trying to understand how to fly the ufo they found we need more time more time maybe we should abandon the ship and focus everything on the development of weapons from the fuel. Sir, we have already cannibalized 30% of the fuel for the weapons program. It is pulling resources away from the research on the vessel. The weapons program is the only success this operation has ever had. The Americans will eventually figure out that the material is the same like that they have in their UFO. How do you think the funding of this project continues? The Soviet Union is gone. The Ukrainian barely know we exist. The only way to continue is to weaponize the program, because from what I see today, we are years away from ever having a functioning vehicle. Sir, I'm worried about the detonation in America. It could have dangerous repercussions. I will deal with the American. Yes, sir. And unless there starts to be results, I will have no problem scrapping your precious ship and converting its entire fission material to weapons. I need information on this, and I need it five minutes ago. Initial satellite imagery shows an EMP blast. How big? Big enough to knock the signal out, sir. What are the Russians saying? The Russians said they were going to wait 24 hours before they make a move. So we've got 24 hours before all hell breaks loose. Has anyone heard from anybody else out there? CIA? Japanese Secret Service? Still waiting. Some kid on his cell phone? Anybody? I'm afraid that's all we have at this point, sir. I've got something. The thermal image scan shows no traces of nuclear radiation, but there was most certainly a destructive EMP. Damage? Well, we're looking at the equivalent of a 50 megaton bomb with a fair bit of initial structural damage. Thankfully, without the genocide. 
How big is the blast? 150 kilometer radius. Everything electronic in that circle has been destroyed. If the device detonated in a major city like Moscow or New York, then... A lot of Vostok's on the eastern end of Russia. It's nowhere near Moscow. So I'll rest in Iowa. It's not near any major city or location. Neither city has any real strategic value. Wait a minute. It's the same place we got all that intel on the crash UFO in the 80s. Pull that up. Sir, the intel has never been substantiated. Besides, why would two of the primary countries capable of actually building it have both been attacked by them? Maybe they're trying to produce it together, or at least they're involved in the funding. The United States and Russia? They don't need a bomb in their own countries. They can blame whatever terrorist regime they want. We're the United States government. And those are the kind of theories that can get us both fired, or worse. May I remind you, our brief is to find rogue elements in our own government. Go ahead. Our plan is not going according to our timetable. How did that happen? Both of our governments are standing down for 24 hours before they make any moves. We must proceed with plan B, and we need to do it now. Put your agents in motion immediately. Let's see if the Middle East responds. Consider it done. Vostok. All because they don't like the fact that we worship a different god. So you were saying uh, that an Islamic terrorist organization is responsible for this? No, we got a positive match on the news truck. Registered to Ahmed Faladin out of Des Moines. What's this? You're not usually big on collaboration, sharing intel, stuff like that. Huh, and you are? Since no terrorist group has taken responsibility, doesn't that make you kind of suspicious? Suspicious? I just got a bad feeling about this whole damn thing. I think we're going to need everybody on board. I mean everybody. Is that right? What do you think? Come on, they got possession of another bomb, and they're willing to let it off? The type of resources and materials required to create this bomb could not be achieved by some sleeper cell in Des Moines. Look, don't underestimate what a fanatic is capable of. Our storyline is not going to hold. We need to start thinking about how we are going to tell the American people the truth. The president's on board? Oh, the president. 
He's just worried about his poll ratings, the terrorist attack, and his wife says no good. And uh, since when were you big on telling the truth? Quid pro quo. What have you and your team been up to? This isn't an Islamic terror cell. What do you think it is? Well, consider um, a rogue faction in the Russian and American governments, working with a former KGB operative who has connections with the deep cover Soviet operation inside the Ukraine. Something like our Area 51, except it's no longer in Russia. Yeah, so why the Russians and the Americans attack their own country? I didn't say that. I said a rogue operation to make the rest of the world believe it wasn't them until the time came to strike the real target. Oh, that's good. So this is the new unit, the GIU. So what's next? What, a 9-11 conspiracy tie-in? It is your patriotic duty to make sure that the public knows you get on board and you tell them what our enemies are capable of. You know, Willis, sometimes it's our duty to vet the information that we give to the public, make sure that it's accurate before we get our country into another war without knowing the facts. You think the Russians are gonna walk away from this? We need to shut this down now before we have World War III on our hands. Good seeing you again, boys. You're the lucky lady that gets to make sex with Sasha tonight. Twelve thirty in my office. Bring a friend. light from last week. Do you really understand the problem? I'll get it. Your lucky bruise is care of clients. You have till the end of night to get my money. Capish? Do you understand? <sighs> ah, new material has arrived. Sasha. I can tell. Susie, who is this stunning creature with you? This is a Cassie uh, from the United States that I told you about. Ah, the U.S. of A. Very nice. You know my club is specialized in having girls from all over the world. Susie from China. Donna from Denmark, Maria from Sweden, and now Kathy from the USA. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Um, we are getting ready to do a uh, two-girl show for some expensive clients. Very well. <laughs> Perhaps you should give me sample first. See the money before the touching starts, sugar. <sighs> I like this one. <laughs> Business first. A real American bitch. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
showtime. Hello, Susie. Hello, big boy. I brought you a present. Her name is Cassie. The one you told me about, the American girl. <laughs> You know how long I have wanted to give it to America. <laughs> Looks like tonight I'm gonna do that. You sure are, baby. Well, you know how I call her? The American bitch. <laughs> I like that. The American bitch. <laughs> what do you say three of us take it to the back room? Back in half an hour. Send him more girls. What do you have in store for me? Just relax. I've been working way too hard. I'm all yours, my darlings. Get this shirt off. No, no, no. You're a stripper, not me. Come on, Evil. I want to see what I'm working with here. That's equals. <laughs> doing 
Susie. No, I... Don't! <laughs> Soon, Kathy. Yes, sir, we're doing an analysis from both explosions. As soon as we have concrete data from both detonations, we'll send them on to your science officer. Yes, sir, I met with them. He wants us to go public. I agree, sir. Going public at this time without the proper information would be dangerous. We'll need at least another 24 hours. Thank you, sir. Anything? Yes, the samples from Vladivostok confirm that the weapons used in the attacks were both powered by some kind of cold fusion material. Go on. The detonation in Iowa only used a few microns of the fusion material. Its EMP wiped out electrical infrastructure for 30 miles. Right. The second detonation used 5% more, but its EMP was 50 times more destructive. The damage is exponential. The key is the fusion material. Microscopic evidence from both Reston and Vladivostok contain trace element of this. And what's this? Unknown. It defies Earth-bound physics. If they really recovered a crashed UFO, it's been theorized that UFOs that are most likely to achieve anti-gravity weight are using some kind of cold fusion energy process. So if they dismantle the ship, they could, in theory, have obtained cold fusion materials. It's a real game changer. Right. Before you kill him? Yeah. You know, the point was to copy the card without him knowing. Yeah, well, maybe you should have thought of that before you got caught with your hands in a shirt. Well, maybe you should be thanking me for knocking Sasho's gun out of his hand before he shot you. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, kill the lights! So, are you finally gonna give me a real briefing on this place before we get there? What did your commander tell you? That it's some sort of, uh, covert facility, but I assume you know more. Well, don't assume too much. We know very little about this place. We just have one shot to get in, and that's it. What do you mean, that's it? So you want a history lesson? I want something. The place was under Russian control during the Soviet times, and when the curtain fell, it fell off the map. They took operations underground. Apparently, there was some secret, something they wanted to hide, something very unique. Unique? A crashed UFO. <sighs> Can you just get serious? We don't have much time. What, you're serious? By the way, now we have to jump. Thanks for telling me. What's that? It's 
very small, powerful explosive charge. It's got a five second delay once it's triggered. This is what we use when there's no way out. And we all expect you to understand we take care of each other here. Good morning, comrade. Good morning, Captain. Captain Tyshenka Svetlana, number 668573. A few other facilities at this level. Ah, new Yellow Zone security specialist. Where are we going? To an inner high security area. Then? Then, I don't know. I've never seen anything on the inner high security area. So you don't know where we're going? No. It's important to look like we do. So, can you imagine? The stripper that showed up at Zachary's party was my sister. <laughs> Christmas dinner is going to be not so pleasant this year. Hello, Ivo. You would be the poor bastard who dies in a strip club. You know, no matter what's in your will, the family jewels belong right here. Services will be held tonight on the main stage. Tell everyone coming to bring lots of small bills, please. <laughs> you think this is funny? <clears throat> no, sir. What happened? Two strippers attacked and killed Mr. Pechev. Probably some sort of fight over mine. They escaped. I have two teams searching the area for them. What were their names? Witnesses say she was an American stripper going by the name Kati. The other was a Chinese stripper who went by the name Susie. So, a Chinese stripper named Susie and an American named Kathy. Walking to Ukrainian strip bar, get in a fight over money, kill six men, four of which are trained security, and then leave the money. I don't know, sir. Well, I tell you what I know. If the story of the fight over money is what you believe, then you are more stupid than I thought. Did your man take anything off the body? We only found this card. Where? It was on the floor. Lock down the base. No one gets in or out. Code red. Repeat, code red. Another security checkpoint. You can imagine how I felt with two naked men. And I couldn't find my clothes. <laughs> <sighs> Cold red. Once we enter, don't let anybody in. I have a better idea. It's code red, they know. Don't you think they're gonna shut down the code lock system? We'll be trapped here. Pechoff was head of security. This is the only car that isn't shut down. Yeah, well, it won't take them long to figure it out and shut it down, too. Let's move. Show me your access records for this morning. Yes, sir.
I only see one access code. But your record shows two people entering. Uh, the card had level five access, sir. I assume... You assume what? Take this man to the brig. Charge him with treason. I want him executed in the morning. But, sir... Bring up the front gate footage. All 700 hours. Yes, sir. Where are they now? Heading towards central control. Export the images. Load it into facial recognition. I want to know who these bastards are, and I want to know now. Colonel. We have a problem. Two people have infiltrated the facility. One of them is an American agent working with Russians. How did that happen? They were sent by your people. What? What are you talking about? I'm sending images to your phone. Intruders, Ekaterina Dimitrova, a Russian agent. Yeah, you tell me. Bodhi. Leela Bodhi, contract agent. <sighs> Our problem is that these people are good. They have already penetrated the facility. You need to send them an abort code. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. Now you understand this. The two of them can't get out alive. They know too much. They will not get out of here alive. But we need to stop them before they do any further damage. Yeah, you can count on it. I need you to call it off, an immediate mission abort. I don't know what you're talking about. You and I both know you've launched an unauthorized mission into Eastern Europe. The only way you would know that is if you had something going on there yourself. And if I did have something going on behind the scenes, it would be to save American lives, not take them. Please, just tell your people to stand down. Do you have any idea what kind of damage would be caused by a larger version of these bombs being detonated? It's a totally untested weapon. My team says the yield is exponential. I have to charge. Yeah, enough of the drama. I'm a patriot, too. Just tell your team to stand up. Listen down. to me. This time, we're not talking about invading a third world country. We're talking about the entire world. Yeah, you're right, Jack. We're not invading a third world country. We're not even going to get our hands dirty with 12 million Shiites and Sunnis killing each other with us stuck in the middle. We're not even going to take the blame. We're going to let them do it themselves. You really don't know what's going on, do you? First, can I make this clear? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. As far as I'm concerned, they've done hundreds of simulations, and all of them have shown that the damage is going to be limited to the Middle East regions. Were those the same simulations you used in Afghanistan and Iraq? This conversation's over. No, it's not. Keep your hands to yourself. Well, do I have your attention now, Mr. Patriot? That fusion material is unstable. Now, you're going to shut it down. Do I make myself clear? Oh, I understand. You're not going to abort. So I'm going to have to take other action. Is that right? Is that a threat? I don't make threats. I take action. You really think the Russians were the only ones that recovered a crashed UFO? Hmm? Think about it. Why would our government not use the fusion material from ours to create our own weapons? Jack, I don't know what you're talking about. No, of course you do. I know you are. Mm -hmm. You finished?
locked out. Put your hands down. I'm not armed. I'm not a soldier. I'm not even in the military. I'm a scientist. Yeah, I can see that. What is this place? First, I have some questions. Who are you people? Where are you from and what are you doing here? First, you need to shut up and answer our questions. Okay. It's a weapons assembly and research. How many bombs have you made and where are they? I can't tell you that. That will kill me. You want to die now? You want to die later? O all right. All right. Over there. Move. Those are the targeted cities. All those cities? Yes. How big are they? The cities? No, the bombs. Ah. Point fifty seven kilotons. What does that mean? It means they are very powerful. And they've been deployed? Yes. God, they're so small. They can be hidden in virtually anything, and there's no radioactive signatures. So they're impossible to detect. How can that be? It's a top secret technology. Okay, smart guy. Since we're here in your lab, it's not top secret anymore. What is that? A hanger. A hanger for what? Please don't make me open it. They will kill me. Obviously, you don't get the point. Open the damn doors. Okay. This is a real UFO. Of course it's a real UFO. Do you think they built this entire place as some sort of elaborate hoax? All right, I've had enough of your smart mouth. You either give us some straight answers or you join your friends on the floor. Okay, all right. I was told that the alien bodies were taken to a research facility in Siberia. So who's running this place? Back then it was Russia. Who's running it now? All I know is that it's a collaborative effort from a number of agencies in a number of countries. What countries? Russia. China, and the United States of America. That's just great. We're sent here to shut this place down, and we're also helping finance it. OK, OK. How did, how did you get from this to making bombs? Money. What do you mean, money? We were supposed to develop the technology of the ship, duplicate the engine, the drive system. But the problem was that we couldn't understand the technology of the ship. You see, it's based All on... All right, what happened next? Because we were getting no results with the drive system, we switched our focus to weapons development using the fuel rods. That's where the money is. The fusion material that powers the drive system made the perfect weapon. So you turned the world's greatest discovery into making bombs. I'm sure your family's real proud. Excuse me, I'm a scientist with three PhDs in quantum physics, chemistry, and aeronautical engineering. I was top of my class at Tara Shevchenko. Wrote my first thesis when Okay, I was... enough, enough. Okay, what we need to know now is when these bombs are gonna detonate. Didn't you people understand the security system before you broke in? They made it fail safe. How, how long? How long? Four minutes, 38 seconds. How do we stop it's it? It's impossible. Transmission system is completely independent of this room. It's in a secure part of the facility and runs to a satellite dish on the roof, totally insulated from EMP or any other kind of interference. The only way to shut it down is to physically destroy the entire building. The weapons are armed. The countdown is at four minutes. The fail-safe system is activated. What do you mean? When security was breached into the main lab, the detonation process was started automatically. I thought we agreed there would be a mutual confirmation process before we proceeded. We agreed that nothing could be allowed to stop the process. 
the team your government sent in was in the process of stopping it. That has been prevented from happening. Welcome to a new world, Mr. Willis. Verify that the self-destruct system is activated. Yes, sir. Do you have a problem with my order, Lieutenant? No, sir. I have told you there is nothing we can do from in here. Do you even realize what will happen when these bombs detonate? It could end civilization as we know it. A total collapse of every electronic system in the world. This is not what is going to happen. Uh, the simulations show that... Simulations? I thought you were a smart guy. Do the math. You know how much damage was caused by the first two detonations? They nearly brought down the grid. What do you think is going to happen if we have mass detonations across an entire region? These people that you were working for, they don't just want to shut down the Middle East. They want to turn the whole world upside down. Maybe. Maybe there is one way to stop it. What the hell? What are you doing? I'm powering up the ship. Why? You see? The ship is made from an alloy, which is a thousand times stronger than titanium. Once it's released from its control gantries, it will fly straight through the building and tear it apart. Okay, well, how long till it flies? Uh, a minute at most. Oh, uh, there is also one thing that I should tell you. If we stay here, we will most probably die. Thanks. You're welcome. What is that? I don't know. Everything's going offline. Go, go, go! We need to get out of here! I know a way! This way! We got them. Keep the chopper waiting. You... You activated the ship. You destroyed the facility. Please, sir, I didn't have choice. <laughs> destroyed everything I have worked for. So I guess the only comfort I have is knowing I will see the two of you die. I understand that you have not seen your husband for a while.
You know why you haven't seen him. Who are the other agents you are working with? You know he cried like a woman trying to convince me to spare his life. I want names. But at the end, I had no choice. Last time. Shoot yourself. I had to kill him. To the love of my life. From Ekaterina. How sweet, huh? Take the American bitch and this mongrel whore to the Odessa prison. Make sure every man there has their way with them before you kill them. Get them out of here! On my cue! Let's go. The helicopter's gonna leave. The facility has a self-destruct system that's gonna level everything around here. Colonel Unger sends his regards. Tell him thanks. You can tell him yourself. He wants to meet with you. Both of you. I'm sorry about Boris, Katya. Did you know him? Yes. We tried to pull him out, but we were too late. I'm sorry. One last thing. There were no survivors from the explosion at the facility. Got it? Our new cover story. Yeah. Got it. you right away. All right. Well, it's been a hell of a week. I guess we've all learned something from it. Yeah, I guess we have. I suppose we got to learn to stick together. The intelligence communities as Americans, yeah. Which reminds me, that's uh, one of the things I wanted to talk to you about. I'm listening. The agency is prepared to uh, leak a new story that says that Reston and Vladivostok were the work of a Yemeni terrorist operation subsidized by Iran. <laughs> ah, Willis. Willis, when will you ever learn? Come on, you got to get on the right side of this, Jack. We still got a lot of stuff to get out of this operation. I got everything I need. Yeah? Like what? Like the formulas? The technology used to create the weapons, the data files, dates, names, everything. <laughs> That's impossible. It was all destroyed. Nobody survived. You got nothing. I've got them. Under the power vested in me by the President of the United States, I'm placing you under arrest. Yeah, on what charge? Well, we'll come up with something. You're crazy. You know I'm not going to go to trial. But they will take you to jail. Where you'll stay for the next 10 years while they figure out what to do with you. Oh, yeah. In your dreams, Jack.
Ladies. So what am I supposed to do now? Well, I hear you're looking to retire. Good luck with that. Thanks. Um, I'll leave you guys alone. Your father's file. The truth. He wasn't a double agent, but he was set up by one. That's why we couldn't walk away. We had to catch the guys that did it. And did you catch them? Eventually. With someone at the agency thought it was cleaner if we let your father take the fall. The president wants me to tell you your father's been exonerated of all charges. And uh, he's soon going to be posthumously awarded the Silver Cross. I'm just sorry it took me so long to get it done. Thank you. You're welcome.